Any man's got a pretty good deal when he's got a lot of people working for him, without having to pay the costs of having any of them on his payroll. That's a simple fact in business life that no thinking person can successfully deny. Everything wears as it moves. No question about that either. And it's even true uh, when you have the very finest of lubricants. So, as long as people are making things move and causing them to wear, they are building a market for surface renewal, one of the great opportunities for business and the metalworking industries for our times in these days. Ah, but uh, that's the conclusion you will reach on your own when you open your mind to let us spray. A very brief review of the markets, methods, and opportunities. Presented by Metalizing Company of America, Chicago, Illinois. Where are they using metalizing these days? That's usually the first question most people ask. All vehicles in the whole world are transportation, is your first answer. Wherever surfaces get worn or need replacement. And of course, there are turbines and housings, bearing areas and crankcases and shafts. These are excellent examples at hand from the marine field. More exotic applications are found in the jet age and in the missile industry, where cermets and ceramics are so often sprayed on. And long before fashion can ever come to Main Street, the textile industry has been metalizing what they call their sand rolls to give them the sure grip that saves money in so many ways. Consider the multi-billion dollar petroleum industry, drilling, refining, transport, pipelines, and marketing. Their needs for metalizing are greater than any man knows. Resurfacing worn parts barely starts the subject. Corrosion is their big problem, just as it is with every community water supply system. Weather corrosion on the outside, liquid contamination on the inside, where a merely painted surface actually means little or nothing. Bridges and similar structures all over the world have benefited materially from sprayed surfaces by metallizing true corrosion protection. Take automobiles and all their wonderful shapes and many sizes. Take construction equipment in its infinite variety. Take road building machinery and off-highway trucks. Or take the on-highway trucks as yet other examples. Where rebuilding with metalizing may actually improve the lubricant holding characteristics of the worn parts, while further use is being built in for only a fraction of the original cost. Same facts are equally true in metalworking, the lumber industry, and the vast papermaking industries. Everybody benefits from the vast food industry's thoroughly modern techniques in so many ways these days. Preparation, preservation, and distribution. Quite naturally, refrigeration and air conditioning also depend upon metalizing for their thoroughly up-to-date methods for resurfacing worn parts at bargain sale prices. Here's just one representative example.
All phases of metalworking depend upon machine tools in one form or another. And public utilities that provide the power to turn industry shafts, motors, wheels, and armatures also have come to call on metalizing to keep the motors providing power reliably. Watch it work successfully. fascinating field of communications with its interdependent ramifications like data processing, television, even telephones. They all look to the little things to keep the big installations working. Spray conductors, spray insulators, keep making them smaller and smaller, yet keep asking the little pieces to do more and more work. and spray the control systems with ceramics, yet still keep them flexible. What a wonderful world we live in. Would you like to see the equipment that's been used in all the demonstrations you've been watching for all these aspects of industry? It's a most modest display in every way. Ceramic coatings are at the forefront of the thinking of many industries today. And here is the gun built for those specialized requirements. The Mogul R3 Rockeyed Ceramic Gun. But the material supply can be 1 8 3 16 or quarter inch ceramic rods. What about powdered materials as a source of supply? Why yes, most assuredly. Here is your metallizing jet spraying package. One gun for powdered metals, another for ceramics in the powdered form. There are special metering devices to assure an even flow of materials during the spraying process, so that the end quality of the work may also be under control. Basic in the industry is the Mogul F12, lightweight to keep it useful for hand operations. This is also a low cost gun for economic advantages. Standard 1 8 inch wire or smaller is the material supply for the spray. The latest in design is this turbojet metallizing spray gun. Again, wire is the material that becomes the spray, fed by means of a patented magnetic governor control. The big Moog Electric is a heavy duty gun, best used on fixtures for high production runs. Because of the capacity it can deliver, size and weight of these units so often used in multiple installations call for mounted application uses. Mechanical marvels, perhaps, but rather it's the manner in which you'll use them that will let them make money for you. On the big pieces, the very simple hand spray is usually the best way. Protection in three dimensions, length, breadth, and thickness the way you ordered it, the way you want it, for whatever the job that metallizing must do. There are many, many methods. Let us spray it by hand. Let the work turn in the machine. 
Here's one method that could be your answer. Automate it when you choose. Complete control over feeds, speeds, flow, rate, travel, depth, time. They're all interrelated and all controlled automatically. Ceramic being applied to steel in this case. With the guns fixed, but the work travel, solving a big production problem. Big job here, coating engine valves with aluminum so that they'll last a lot longer. Not incidentally, you might like to know that metallizing furnished everything for the guns at their respective stations. Hold the work fixed. Let the gun move, dictated by design geometry and rigid specs for depth and finish. And speaking of finish, metalizing rather reminds me of travel. To get where you're going, you need a good start. metalizing, it's often the preparation of the raw surface at the start that may very well control the surface finish at the end. Electric bonding is only one of the many forms of surface preparation you might choose to use. Well, let's take another. One more successful preparation is Molly Bond. Roughing the surface with a single point tool may be the way this job should be done in one set of circumstances. choose to sand it. Or sandblast it. Where a permanent bond is required after spraying, heating the workpiece is the very best method when different circumstances or working conditions call for it. You know, metalizing machines well. For the new finish or the fit, you may choose to machine the new surface by any number of ways. Type of finish, shape of work, the new surface material. Any or all matters may come into your thinking to get what you want or what your customer may require. For the new surface structure, let us spray. Let us flame spray. It's the metalizing way. Be aware, too, that metalizing will help you, even as it did this user, to design, build, and install fixtures, systems, and devices for maximum use. Well, the story from start to finish would not be complete without just a few words for the future. A new companion gun to be added to the complete line of metallizing gas guns. The arc spray can be the new way. While you're watching a demonstration, 
We'll mention just a few of the new advantages you get from this electric arc jet. It's hotter. It's faster. Better clean. Greater volume. Better adhesion. Denser patterns. Instant start. Instant stop. No dribble. No splash. No last drop drip from a gas heated tip. It's for the really big jobs. Well, that's for the future. But for right today, this is still the way to restore dimensions. The right way to restore or improve wearing or holding surfaces. This is still the way to coat odd shapes for protection against high heat conditions. And the proper method to solder long or awkward seams. Today, this is still the way to restore fits. And this is still the most efficient method to renew finishes. Let us spray. This brief review of markets, methods, and opportunities has been presented by Metalizing Company of America, Chicago, Illinois. For further information that may help you, contact your local metalizing sales representative or authorized distributor.